20mm caliber is a specific size of popular autocannon ammunition. Ammunition of caliber 20 by 139 mm is widely used in ground armored vehicles and anti-aircraft gun. Some types of shells of this caliber have explosives and a mechanical fuse. We will look at the operation of one of these shells in this video. 20mm caliber shells appeared at the beginning of the 20th century and since then have been constantly developed and improved, including fuses, which are the main element of the shell. One of the distinguishing parameters of a mechanical fuse for ground-to-ground -ground and ground-to-air applications from aircraft applications is the presence of self-destruction in them. The round weight is 314 grams. The initial velocity is 1050 meters per second. The projectile has a self-destructing head fuse. Arming distance is minimum 8 meters. The fuse contains more than 20 parts. Some of these parts are used in safety stages, which begin to be removed during firing due to centrifugal overload. The safety parts include, lock ring, spiral spring, lock, safety pin, safety collar, rotor. The self-destruct mechanism of the fuse consists of a percussion spring, a guide pin, a firing pin, and three centrifugal balls. The fire chain consists of a detonator and a booster. The shell can be used against air targets of all kinds, also to engage ground and sea targets, such as transport media and weapon positions, etc. The projectile filled with P-30 Hexel for strong blast and incendiary effects. In addition to the important demolition effect by blast and fragments, the long duration of the flame ensures excellent incendiary effect. To promote my channel, please like it. The threaded primer consists of the primer body, an ignition cap and a smokeless nitrocellulose booster charge. At the initial moment of the shot, the safety stages begin to be removed. In the barrel, under the action of centrifugal overload, the safety pin, overcoming the resistance of the safety collar, comes out of the rotor groove, thereby releasing it. After the axial overload from the main acceleration of the projectile disappears, the rotor will move into the combat position, positioning the detonator opposite the firing pin. Also lock ring, spiral spring, lock, under the action of centrifugal force release the firing pin. Now the firing pin is held by centrifugal balls, which prevent the detonator from being punctured. When in flight the centrifugal force prevents the balls from slipping off the angle that is cut on the guide sleeve. If the shell does not strike a target within about 8 seconds, then self-destruction occurs. If, with increasing time of flight, the spin falls below a certain value, then the force of the self-destruction spring overcomes the centrifugal force of the centrifugal balls. The self-destruction spring now forces the firing pin forward. The centrifugal balls are thereby forced inwards by the cone. The firing pin pierces the detonator, which causes the booster to detonate. On impact of the fuse nose, the sensor and the guide pin force to move firing pin forward. The firing pin pierces the detonator. Thank you for watching my video.